Well, uh, I know I said it was the end of the satellite series, but there was one other thing I wanted to talk about, since the ISS is presently transmitting slow scan TV, and we'll be doing so for the next four days. I have, as we saw in the previous video, automated um, capturing recordings from the, uh, the space station, because I want to capture these slow scan TV images. Um, what I didn't talk about before, and I thought I'd mention now, is how to decode using QSS TV under Linux uh, passes that you've recorded into an audio file. Because this program usually talks to your sound cards. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Um, this pass, ooh, this is going to be close. Two minutes and 54 seconds to go on this pass. I don't know if I'll catch this image or not, but we'll see. You can hear it there in the background. So yeah, we're receiving one right now. And you can see down here the ISS is moving along. It's going to go out of the horizon somewhere to the east. We might just get a nice clean copy on this one. Anyway, um, here's an image that I uh, decoded about, two hour, about an hour ago, hour and a half ago. I've just left this running um, over on this desktop to capture every single pass of the ISS today and maybe tomorrow, and I'm, I might just leave it going and see how many pictures I can catch from them. So anyway, this is... GQRX is currently recording. See, the record button is grayed out down here. Um, the received signal from the ISS. GPredict over here via its radio control module is controlling the frequency to track the Doppler shift and keep us centered on the frequency while it's being received and is also uh, doing the uh, uh, or tripping the recording over on GQRX. So every pass that the ISS comes over GQRX is recording whether or not it's receiving anything. In this case oh it's going to be close it's starting to fade We're going to have some noise at the bottom of that image. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? Is it going to finish before it goes below the horizon? Is it? Are we going to get it? Oh, it's close. One minute. And we'll actually lose this about 30 seconds. I bet we're near the end, though. Yes! Yes! Okay, good. We got it. That's cool. All right. So I'll let the recording finish here, and then we'll go over to QSS TV. Well, first off, we'll we'll process the audio file. All right. Okay, it has finished recording. So we now have an audio file. I'm going to go and load that audio file in uh, Audacity. Okay, so here is our captured file. This is the entirety of the pass, and you can see there was just the tail end of one pass here. Let's listen to it. Let's turn the volume down. <laughs> see, we were just getting the tail end of a pass there, and it was pretty noisy. But this looks like we got a nice clean pass here, or a nice clean image here. Yep, so what I'm going to do is, I've highlighted that, I'm going to go up here to edit, I'm going to say copy, file new, project rate, 48 kilohertz. That's the sample rate QSS TV is expecting, so I'll go up here to edit, paste, there is our pass, and uh, 48 kilohertz right here. That's important. So our, there's our image, right? The entirety of the image. I'm going to trim it a little bit. We don't need this little bit of junk at the end here. Delete. And at the beginning, don't need that much silence. Let's just get rid of that. Delete. Okay, so this is our first image. I will export this as a WAV file. And we'll call it uh, 
uh, SSTV2. I've already got one SSTV1 here, so I'm going to save it as SSTV2. All right. Now I can close that. And we'll go up here to our recording of the full pass, and we'll highlight this second image that we got. We got fortunate. We got two of them on this pass. Edit, copy, file, new, project rate, 48 kilohertz, edit, paste. And the same deal. I'm going to trim out the junk at the beginning, at the end, making a nice clean clip. What's that? Is that just a squelch tail? Yeah, it's just a squelch tail. So we'll delete that. Okay, and then we will export this one. File, export as wave. And we'll call it SSTV3. Hmm. Okay, now that I've cut out just the images from that fully recorded pass, we'll go to QSS TV. So this is QSS TV. It is the program that I use for slow scan TV under Linux. And what we need to do is we need to go to Options, Configuration, and Sound, and right here, this little checkbox, From File. Sound input from file. So I'll check that and hit OK. Now when I hit the receive button here, the little play button, it's going to bring up a file uh, dialog to ask us to uh, choose a file. And I'll go pick that file I downloaded, SSTV2. And there we go. So there is the first image I got on that pass, and boy is that clean. Look at that. No noise bands or anything. All right, and then let's, uh, let's take a look at the other image that we got. SSTV3. Oh, that's the same image that I got on the other pass. <laughs> so that's a duplicate. But we did get, let's go to gallery, we did get this one, and that's a, a unique one, so that's cool. So there you go, that's how you do it with QSS TV. And then once you've got the image uh, in here, um, QSS TV, I think, can we do it in here? No, we can't, uh, we can't copy it out, but that's okay. If we go look, uh, where did I have it? Here we go. In your home directory, you'll find a QSS TV directory, and inside of that, you'll see an RX SS TV folder, and that's where all the images that it has decoded have been stored. So there is our image, the new one, if we wanted to upload it somewhere or, or do something with it. So that's where it is stored in your home directory. So there you go, just a short one this week, um, or this uh, middle midweek, showing you how you can use QSS TV to decode images that you've recorded or captured to an audio file. I hope you found that useful. I'm going to get back to work on the antenna experiment that I've been working on for uh, over a week. You'll have to wait for the weekend for that one though. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.